It's a typical Friday night on Long Street as many people let loose after a busy week. But from inside a building not far off, are police officers and City of Cape Town officials watching to keep the streets a safe place. 92 CCTV cameras and 30 people monitoring the screens for irregular activity makes it tougher for criminals to commit crimes without being caught in the act. What we're demonstrating to the media tonight is the um, undercover work that's being done, which is an ongoing thing, not just in the Cape Town CBD, but throughout the city. We're exposing, which is focusing on the long street um, enforcement activities. You have uh, plainclothes officers out there with 252 and other operations. That's ongoing, working closely with SAPs. And then also the kind of visible policing when the uniformed officers go in and deal with the more visible offences. Um, they will also do stop and search and other stuff. But once they arrive, many of the drug dealers and stuff will keep a low profile. So the only chance of really catching them and them having drugs on them is to, to, to move in with plainclothes officers and the CCTV cameras help because it tracks their behaviour and documents all of it for, for court purposes. The challenge is, of course, that the drug dealers never have drugs on them. They take money and pass you on to a further person who has drugs on them and it's all about capturing that whole process, getting the buyer and the seller in. And by and large you have to do these 252 operations for which you need authorization. Uh, so it's not something you can do on the spur of the moment. It needs a bit of coordination. The biggest issue on Long Street is the uh, drug dealing. A lot of people do the fishing in Long Street. You won't actually get the drugs there. They'll actually pull you off into a side street and do the deals off where there isn't camera footage and camera view. And um, that is one of the biggest issues in the city you can see from our database, on our CCTV database. The crime stats are lower than they were in 2003, lower than they were in 2000. They are in many categories between a fifth and an eighth what they were then. The CCTV and the CCID have worked very effectively to reduce that. Uh, there are certain increases that we're worried about, and that's contact crime, the muggings and pickpocketing. It's very alarming, and the problem there is that you're seeing the same faces over and over, and even though they're being arrested frequently, the criminal justice system is not processing them, and they're ending back up on the street to be re-arrested the next weekend again. As crime-fighting techniques are bettered, criminals catch on and adapt, so there's a constant need for innovation in this area. From the perspective of the CCTV cameras and the CBD, the city of Cape Town seems to have a head start on criminal activity. Renee de Villiers, Eyewitness News, Long Street.